So how excited is GE about the smart grid? Well, we're very excited about smart grid. Um, if you think about, you know, the folks that have been working smart grid, and I think Mark had a slide where he showed that, uh, you know, we've been working on this for, uh, for over a decade now, you know, here at the research center. Uh, the surge in interest in smart grid over the last couple of years has really been over the, incredible. The last year and a half of activity, I'd say from, you know, the beginning of 2008 to now, the interest in smart grid technology, the interest in, you know, energy management, communications, the ability to, you know, control load has really been something that's, uh, that's, that's been growing in a, in, a, in, a, in a dramatic way. And so I think there's a tremendous opportunity in smart grid. How important is it that the Obama administration is putting cash into uh, research programs? I think it's, a, it's, it's very important. Uh, if you look at the stimulus program, it's an accelerant for technology that's going to be, you know, important but would naturally take a longer time to develop. And so I think if you if you look at uh, the portion of the stimulus that's funding demonstrations, uh, it's really an accelerant to, to the programs that were naturally occurring, you know, across uh, academia and across different companies, and it'll, it'll allow these technologies to materialize and realize their benefits faster. And finally, I believe uh, GE has a plan to integrate plug-in hybrids into the smart grid. Can you explain how that will work and what the timetable is for it? So, so plug-in hybrids are analogous to any other load uh, out in the out in the system. Uh, if you if you look at a, if you look at a plug-in hybrid, the first mode of deployment is going to be so-called grid to vehicle, which is G to V. You know, and later perhaps you might see vehicle to grid, which is the V to G. But if you look at grid to vehicle, essentially what you have is a load whose charging and energy consumption can be controlled as a factor as a function of time. So in other words, you can you know, manage the charging of, uh, of a PHEV so that it not only charges at a certain hour, but charges at a certain rate at a certain hour. And so there's an opportunity here to leverage the same type of technologies that we're developing for traditional demand response, which would control, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the consumption of electricity in, in normal loads, and to generalize that to, to account for, uh, for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles as a, as a controllable load on, on the grid. And so I would say that, you know, the, the level of effort and the level of thought that we've put into it at this point is, is largely treating, you know, uh, PHEVs as a controllable load. And the challenge is, I think, the one that was articulated today, you don't want.